Hi guys, I still remain Sabichi Jokov. Welcome to Biosal Fish Academy, where we talk about every aspect of modern fish farming. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever we drop new videos. Today, we are going to talk about disease control in aquaculture. Diseases and mortality is inevitable in every living thing, fish inclusive. But there are things you need to do as a fish farmer so as to minimize or to avoid recording mortality in your fish from single stage up to table size. There are one or two things you need to do as a farmer to minimize mortality or casualty to the barest minimum level. As it is popularly said, prevention is better than cure. So we mostly advise our farmers, our clients, to do everything possible within their reach so as to avoid recording casualty in their stock. The first thing you need to do as a farmer is to ensure that you stock a healthy single or juvenile. If Biosal Fish Academy is your source of the stock, you are safe. But if you are sure of your stock, then you as a farmer have to play your own part to maintain that healthy finger leaf or juvenile from day one up to table size. So where are these things that you as a farmer need to come in in order to ensure that you cultivate, you harvest, you culture healthy finger leaf from day one up to table size. After securing your healthy stocks, making your place ready, to stock in either fingerlings or juveniles, you should bear it at your mind that these fish came from fresh oxygenated water. So for them to survive and maintain that tempo, that healthy status you brought them in, you have to ensure you maintain that oxygenated water by changing your water regularly. Bear it in mind, these were healthy stocks survive within this particular water. They eat inside this water and the uneaten feet decompose within this water, thereby contaminating the chemical properties of your water. If care is not taken, gradually you will start recording mortality. That is why we advise our farmers to ensure that they change their water regularly. Once you maintain the habit of changing your water regularly, you will see your fish, your fingerlings, your juveniles are just thriving well as if on a daily basis they are growing. So once you prevent this, you will see that from day one up to table size, you have zero or minimum casualty. So we always encourage farmers to maintain the habit of changing water so as to minimize or to record zero casualty. If despite your regular change of water, you still recorded one or two mortality, the first eight thing you need to do is to drain your water completely if you are using either trampoline, rubber pump, or concrete pump. Even if it means add them, you use water pump and drain the water and introduce fresh water. But for a venture, if you still record this, the next thing you need to do is to seek advice from those in the field or your source of fingerling. You should call their attention for them to give you proper advice on what next to do. The next thing after water quality is, at all costs, ensure that you feed your fish with good quality feed. Give them feed that you are sure of the source. Give them feed that is uncontaminated. Don't work towards minimizing Cost by feeding your fish with bread or a things that you are not sure of the source. Give them quality feed and within the shortest possible time frame, your fish will grow and reach, reach the desired size. Any mortality will affect your end result. So at all costs, you ensure that you raise your fish, your number of fish stock from day one up to table size in good number so as to make good return on your investment. Expect more videos on disease control and treatment. I still remain your boy Sabichi
Joko. But please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever we drop new video. See you next week.